Team of the season is here, and if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins over Team of the Season, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. You can get a massive 10% discount, and you can also get an extra 5% when you use my code Martin. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video and another tactics video here on the channel. And today we're having a look at the four. 333. Start of like a little bit of a mini series of 433 variations. Um, really good traditional formations in FIFA and, and ones that I used back, back in the day. So they are effective. So let's get straight into it and have a look at the 4333 um, and see how it works. So it's a it's the most defensive variation of the 433. Okay, and actually gives you quite a lot of defensive solidarity, all right? And it plays a little bit like a 4-2-3-1. So let's get straight into it and have a look. So defensive style balanced, of course it is. This is not an overly attacking formation. It's very balanced, so we're not going to be putting this on pressure on heavy touch or press after possession loss. Leave that on balanced. If you are able to press on your own, terrific. If not, just leave it be. Defensive width, 40. Whenever we're playing a four at the back, we're always looking at around 40 to 45 width. If you're playing five, then you'd look at 30 to 35 because we always want to stay narrow, but um, depending on whether it's a four or five will uh, depend on whether it's in the 30s or in the 40s. So in this instance, four, three, three, it's going to be in the 40s. Defensive depth, we've got 50, okay? Like I said, this is relatively defensive slash balanced formation. So we're not ramping this up into the 60s and 70s. We'll just leave it on uh, 50 depth. Build up play, balanced, it always is because we want that variety, don't we? Um, and the 433 is absolutely no different. Chance creation is gonna be direct passing on nearly every single tactics video that we do. You know that by now. But why? Because it's the one that makes your players uh, make the best runs, it's just as simple as that. Offensive width, 40. Now this is a bit of a difference. So um, in the 4-3-3, there were wide players, your wingers are very wide. And when you just want to bring them in a little bit so that the striker and the, and the um, attacking centre mid in this instance have more people to play with. They're right stuck out on the wings. It's gonna make it very difficult and very uh, predictable your gameplay. So we need to bring that width, offensive width in a little bit. Uh, players in the box six, corners and free kicks are both on two. Do what you like with them. However, like I always say, the higher that you do it, the more prone you are gonna be to getting hit on the counter attack, okay guys? Right, player instructions. Now, before we get into the instructions, guys, I did just want to remind you, I am still offering online and offline coaching. So if you're looking to get better at your rivals, get better results in foot champs, then get in touch with me, martinfifa88 at gmail.com, and I can give you some more information and we can talk about some coaching sessions for you. So, player instructions. The whole of the back four stay back while attacking. Obviously, the centre backs will be, but particularly with the full backs, if ever you're playing a formation that's got wingers, for me, you'd never touch it. It would be suicide. Um, you, uh, for me, you only change this on the fullbacks if you're playing a very narrow formation and you need the fullbacks to create the width and you struggle to do that off of your own back, okay? So in this scenario, we don't. Doesn't mean that we won't get them involved. Got Mumba and Ashley Cole there. They're more than capable of taking the ball up the pitch. If you see some green grass in front of you guys, go with it. So many people that I coach and I watch their gameplay and they'll get the ball the fullbacks pass it and there's 20 yards in front of them get your team up the pitch that's the thing to use your fullbacks for okay right into the two CDMs so you can see how in a way that this works like a 4-2-3-1 it's very very marginal the differences okay so you can see you've got Declan Rice and Odegaard here they're both on stay back while attacking and they're both on cover center, which means they're giving great protection to your back four, and they're making you extremely solid indeed and hard to break down. Then into the center mid, who's kind of like a cam in a way, we've got him on get forward, Joe Cole, who'd be an ideal type of person for this. Um, he is on get forward, 
get into the box of crosses, but also cover centre. So stay in the middle of the pitch, be available, um, you know, be that link between the CDMs and the strikers. That's a big old gap if there's no one around. So yeah, he will be somebody that is available for you to play the ball into a lot and who can feed the wingers, feed the striker, etc., etc. Right, let's look at the striker. Lone striker, stay forward. We don't want him moving. We don't want him going out to the right. We don't want him going out to the left. We don't want him coming short. Stay where you are, mister. And stay forward, stay center is all we need. Right, out to the wingers. And these are really crucial in the 4-3-3. They really are. So first things first, as you can see, we've got them on, come back on defense. Okay, so we're gonna be really, really solid when we are defending, because we've got those two banks of four plus the attacking centre mid, if you like. Um, so at times we're going to have 10 people behind the ball. However, when we do win it, obviously we've got direct passing turned on. We've also got get into the box for crosses on the two wingers. So as soon as we win the ball, whoosh, they're going to be on their way. And Joe Cole, the, the attacking centre mid, will also be pushing forward uh, quickly as well. So. We will be able, we will have people in attack when we do break away. And we've also gone here for get in behind. If you remember from the, the tactics, that we've offensive width is a little bit narrower. So hopefully the central striker might be able to play balls in behind your left wing and your right winger. And just to show you that um, Ryan Ken is on exactly the same. Of course, on the wing, you want, you want speed or trickery, preferably both. But guys, there we go. There's your 4-3-3, three, three, three formation tactics and player instructions. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, then drop a like on the video. Get in the comments if you have got any questions, but subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.